My name is Paulis and I run the Time and Time Again Cookery School in West Sussex and I'm going to share some culinary tips with you. I'm going to show you how to make breaded chicken. I've got a fantastic seven to eight ounce uh, piece of chicken, um, which I'm going to pan but before I do that, I'm actually going to show you how to literally cut it down and speed up the cooking process. So the first thing I'm going to do is prepare the chicken. I have a, a seven to eight ounce uh, breast of chicken. Now, it's entirely up to you, you can leave the, um, the breast whole or you can cut it down into halves to speed up the cooking process. So today I'm going to show you a technique of cutting it down into slices. Now you can leave it butterflied as a suggestion and do it that way or literally you can just cut it down in half. Breast of chicken cut into, cut into two there, really nice. So now we have a, um, a panne, which is a flour, egg wash and breadcrumb, which I'm going to literally coat my, my chicken with. Which I, so I've done salt and pepper, plain flour, I've done literally um, a half a pint of milk to two eggs and I've got some fresh breadcrumbs. Now I've got some fresh thyme, I'm going to add the thyme to that. It's entirely up to you, you can have some basil or you can just literally just keep it basic and just season it with salt and pepper. So a nice bit of thyme there into my breadcrumbs. So this mixture I have here, the, the panne mixture, there isn't enough um, uh, mixture for, for about four breasts of chicken, so I've got plenty there anyway. So very, very important to panne the flour, then into the egg wash, then into breadcrumbs for the, for the mixture to actually stick to, to the chicken. So very important. So here we go. So as I'm speaking to you now, I've got my pan on. Uh, I've got some olive oil uh, pan starting to warm up quite nicely now. And also I've got my oven on as well. So I'm going to finish off my chicken through the oven as well. So I've coated it with uh, the flour, the egg, into, into the breadcrumbs. And I've got my herbs there. I've seasoned it up really nice. I try and keep one hand dry. So what I'm trying to do is actually I'm going to use the flour, shake it off into the mixture. So I've got one hand wet and one hand dry. So straight into there, into the panning mixture and coat that, if possible, in there. So we have a nice sort of bread crumbly mixture. So I've got my pan nice and hot. I've got my oven on to about 180, gas mark six. So I'm all ready to go. My chicken's nice and panned, nice and coated. Just shake off the excess in a nice hot pan. Little tip there, just have the chicken away from you in a pan there and get that going. Don't want it too hot. We don't want to, you know, we don't want to burn our breadcrumbs and we don't want a raw chicken. So it's got to be a moderate heat as well. So again, in a nice hot pan, chicken breast away from you. Really, really nice. Now I'm going to put my chicken from, from the pan into a tray through the oven. I'm going to take it out and for a chef's tip, I'm going to add some butter just to give it a more, a more of a luxurious taste. Really, really nice. So, but if you're, you know, if you're watching your, you're watching your way, just olive oil is absolutely fine. Um, to give it more of an Asian edge, add a bit of sesame oil. It's quite nice. Again, I put thyme in there. Um, you can add some coriander. You can add some curry to it. It's entirely up to you. So the method of, of panning is actually the, the basics is is, is flour, is um, egg and milk, and, and the breadcrumbs. But if you want to add and elaborate to the mixture by adding some spices or some herbs to your mixture, it's entirely up to you. But this is the basic way of doing it. So I've had my chicken um, per side a couple of minutes just to brown the, the breadcrumbs because I, I don't want to really cook it too much because that's that, through the oven it's going to do it anyway. So I've got plenty of moisture coming from my chicken. Straight into my tray. And like I said, straight into the oven. I'll come back to that in about 10 minutes. So come back to my chicken. Like I said, a nice moderate heat. Take that out. Smelling really nice. Nice and golden brown. Take that out there.
little suggestion, if you're taking it out of the oven, you can always lash some butter on it to give it some nice, really nice little luxurious taste. But the idea is getting it nice and moist as well. So I'm going to cut through that. Absolutely fantastic. It smells really, really good. I can smell the herb coming through now. I'm just going to just slice that down and put it on my plate. Nice and moist. Garlic butter would be great with this. Nice tarragon butter. Or a nice little sauce or a little dipping sauce to go with this. Absolutely fantastic. Really nice. And it was cooked just purely in olive oil on top there. Nice bit of olive oil on top. Here we go. Garnish like that. Nice bit of drizzle of olive oil. And if you want, a nice bit of black pepper on top. And that's how I do my breaded chicken.